Hey guys, this is going to be a quick kind of video um, about this detector that I just got today. Um, this here is a First Alert SA67. Uh, now I've mentioned this model several times before, um, and I've wanted an example of it, and I finally have one, and I'm very happy. Um, this detector is the same thing as the SA76RS, and uh, as you can see it does look very, very similar. However, you may notice the test button. This one has a white dome test button. That was literally the only difference between this model, the SA67, and the SA76RC. I think I said SA76RS before. I meant to say SA76RC. You know what I meant. Uh, but I have my SA76RC right here. I don't think I made a video of this one uh, because, you know, it's just a basic model. It's just like the SA79TA that I uh, filmed a while ago. You can see they're identical, basically, except for the test buttons. Um, so this one I got new in the box. This one I got used, so that's a little, it's a little bit yellow. But this one was new in the box, so it's brand new, bright white, never been used before. And here's the box. Um, so, yeah, this was bought at a place called Shalito Rikes. I'm not sure I've never heard of that chain before. Um, and that's not a price tag. That looks like it's kind of like a like a vendor tag. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, the box is just like any regular 80s first alert. Uh, and I'll show you that in more detail later. But here's the detector. Um, and here's the back. You can see same label, model SA67. Um, and then take the cover off. And this one has the same 79R PCB with the round metal sensor, the later style uh, electronic horn with the three little holes, and there's the white button. Now this one, I was a bit surprised to see, this one does not have an LED. Um, Nathaniel had made a video of one of these along with an SA76RC, uh, and his had a LED under the button. And I had not known. I thought that these always had, these white button ones always had LEDs, even though they had a white button. But I guess it's the other way around. I guess they never had LEDs unless there was a mix-up at the factory and they put an LED in. Um, but I just thought that was interesting. And there you can see 79R right there. Um, this one also has the uh, tan PCB with the black uh, markings on it. And there is a marking, a trace for a sensitivity adjustment right there, although there is no sensitivity adjustment on board. Um, and if I open up the SA76RC's cover, you can see that this one must be a little bit older, because this one actually does have the sensitivity adjustment, and it also has the LED like it's supposed to. Um, but this one has the uh, tan circuit board with the red markings. Um, and I think the red markings were came first. Now, uh, yeah, this was the cover for this one. I know that because this one's more yellow. Um, but yeah, this one's also got the dome test button, but this one's just the regular clear test button. Now, the earlier ones had tiered test buttons, and I'm still after an SA76RC with a tiered test button. Um, but yeah. So, um, put the cover back on, and the inside of the cover, it's the exact exact same cover as this one, the same cover as the SA76RS, uh, except it has the bigger side vents. Put the cover back on and give it a test. And it sounds in BRK's classic quick pulse. Um, a little fast, uh, faster than, uh, well not as fast as like the SA120 that I have in the Sears, but uh, it's I think faster than that one. I, I don't know. I haven't tested that one in a while, but it's it's a, it's kind of like a regular speed. I don't know. Um, normal pitch, normal speed, very basic. Uh, but I like this a lot. I uh, Still a mystery to me why First Alert put out detectors, or even BRK for that matter, put out detectors with just white dome test buttons and just made them entirely different models because the when they changed to the hinge cover and the SA67D, they had some models of the SA67D that had white buttons and some models that had clear buttons, and they didn't change the model numbers for those, so I really don't know why. 
And like I said, they also have the SA-125, which was the version of the SA-120 that had a white button. And they had the SA-81, which was the version of the SA-80FC that had a white button. Um, and then the BRK had the 79P, which was actually the 79R with a white button. I just recently found out about that one. Um, but yeah, so that's this detector. Let's look at the box now. I showed you a brief... Yeah, this one does not have the installation instructions on the side, which I thought was interesting. I think they only did that for the larger boxes, um, but yeah, I think this is a later, like I said, I think this is a later model. Um, and there's the picture, it does depict a detector with a white button. Um, and then inside of the box, it came with manual, which I'll get to in a second. This, which is a warning about the manual. Um, the original battery, which is an old EverReady. Uh, this one's in really good condition. I will definitely be keeping this one. The uh, positive terminal is only a little rusted. And the mounting hardware. So, uh, yeah, let's look at the manual. Now this is the manual for the SA76RC, SA67, and the SA80FC and SA81. Um, so, open it up. I can never remember which one is the front and which one is the back. I think this is the front. Yes, it is. And as usual, if you want to read anything, go ahead and pause it. And if I see anything interesting, I will point it out. I like how up there they list all the model numbers included in the manual. I do not see a copyright date on here, but I believe this one was made around 1980, 1985 or something, something around then. Maybe not quite 1985, maybe like 83 or something. And there's your diagram, which of course depicts a unit with a, the red uh, mechanical, or sorry, a red electronic horn with the, the older version with the three slots and a tier test button. And it says right there, indicator light, SA76RC and SA80FC only. So I guess this model was just like a, a sort of a, not as a lower end model, if you will, than the RC and the FC. Once again, more information about the light. And more information there. Let's see. And by this point, by this point in time, uh, Mallory had switched to just being Duracell, or just became independent. Alright, so that's the manual. Okay, so there's not really much to say about this because other than it having that white dome button, it's just a basic, you know, 80s BRK First Alert 79R based unit. But it's definitely a cool one and I'm glad to have it. I've definitely been after this one for a while. Very happy to have it. So that is the SA67. Let's test it one more time. Alright, thanks for watching and more to come.